Howdy everyone, this is Constantine, completely unplanned stream, I decided to go live to show you where I am living, where I have been living for the past couple of weeks and most likely a few more weeks. Welcome to Tashkento's big day, close, it's perfect right now, it's, um, you know, 70s. I'm wearing t-shirt, it's fantastic. Spring is in Uzbekistan and I've decided to shut comments off so we don't really, you know, converse much, but instead you just sit back and enjoy. I've been doing so many streams lately that I am pretty tired of uh, discussing political issues, pressing issues, things like that. I decided to, you know, give my moss a break and hopefully they can uh, come in and watch right now. Hopefully there will be no interruptions, no buffering. I've decided to take you to a couple parks that are right next to my apartments. I am not even sure how they cold, but I just, my basic, the purpose of the stream is for you to enjoy uh, just a walk around. I used to do this, this stuff a lot in the past, basically what my streams were all about, walking tours, and I used to take to uh, viewers to different places uh, around around Moscow, south of Russia. You know, we never spoke of uh, politics, well, very rarely. Everything changed on the 24th of February, as you know, but hey, you know, this is a, this is a break right now. There will be another stream a few hours later, and that's going to be, as usual, you know, pressing issue. YouTube is getting shut off in Russia. I will uh, tell you the news. I will tell you what is happening. And, you know, uh, that's going to be a different kind of stream from my home, from my apartment. But this one is so different. Place is great. I love this park. This is an old park, but it was renovated recently. And this is the entrance, the grand entrance again. Lots of people are enjoying Saturday evening. This is dusk. Very good time. It's still light, but it's already, you, you, you are seeing the lights. I decided to start streaming at this time, so I get 20 perhaps 25 minutes of light, somewhat light, and then it's gonna be getting darker and darker. Lots of kids, lots of families. This is how this park looks like. We're at the entrance right now. About 200 people watching right now. If you guys liking, uh, you cannot, we cannot converse. You, you cannot tell me that you're liking it, but you can press the like button and that will show, it, it'll give me an idea that uh, the viewers are enjoying what I'm doing. I'm certainly enjoying. I'm taking you along for the ride, for the walk. Thank you so much. I'm seeing that the likes. Excellent, excellent. Thank you all. Let me show you my face. Uh, this is me, Constantine. Hi. I'm hot, even wearing t-shirt. Um, I went to this morning. I went to a doctor to check on my eyes because it's been ten days since the surgery. Time flies, and everything's okay, good. And there will be another checkup in another ten days. Uh, that's pretty much it. All in all, it's good. I was going to go to Bukhara tomorrow just for a trip for myself, but I have too many things in Tashkent. Most likely no, most likely next weekend. Um, I emailed Russian minimalist girl Victoria because they're in Bukhara right now, they live in there, uh, just for meetup, and I have not received the answer. So probably not gonna meet them there look how beautiful everything is oh my gosh 
Moscow has still snow on the ground, so you understand what is happening. Okay, I'm just walking around exploring this park a little bit. Pretty, pretty cool. I'm gonna walk slowly. It, this park is small, okay? It's nothing like Gorky Park in Moscow, where you can walk and walk and walk for an hour. No. This is a small park. Uh, it's very nice. It's, it's just so beautiful. It's almost like therapeutic being here, you know? Tons of families. Labyrinth. That is pretty cool. When I stream from home every evening on Wi-Fi, I have issues. Right now, it's mobile, I'm outside, no issues, no buffering, you know. Ay. Soft drinks, water, of course. Usual suspects, Pepsi, Coke, Pulpy, that's a Russian brand, and local juices, um, energetics ice cream someone was asking me about whether i can buy ice cream or not here in uzbekistan plenty of ice cream the park cafe okay well it's not really a cafe it's a small Привет. hello you speak english you work here nice I'm streaming. I'm streaming live. We have the best barbecue in Tashkent. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay. Best barbecue in Tashkent. Yes. It's good that you didn't say the best barbecue in the world. <laughs> Not in the world, but in Tashkent. Oh, your English is good. Excellent. Okie dokie. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna try it. Maybe later. This is a nice seating area right there. Oh, so this is a cafe. They have a kitchen and everything, you know. I wonder if you can hear birds chirping. It's pretty, pretty cool. No, we, we kind of uh, taken a few steps down. That's a natural landscape of this place. It's gradually, gradually like, you know, lowering. Tons of people taking pictures of this live entertainment. Look at that. In the summertime, that's a fountain right there. And all here is a fountain, okay? Unfortunately, well, it's not summer yet, you know, so the fountain's off, but you can see there's lights and everything. Must be absolutely stunning in the summertime. It's 
there are two parks here. This is the first, it's a little bigger park and it's less crowded. There's another park across the street, across the road. I'm gonna walk there once I'm done with this park and then uh, another stunning park. Free concert. I have some money I'm gonna give them. Я видео снимаю. This guy is a cool. <laughs> Спасибо. Что, я, по-моему, снимал тебя вчера, да, дружище? Фотографировал там вчера. По-моему, фотографировал вчера там, да, вечером? Или позавчера, да? В другом парке. Ну, вслед, через дорогу, да? The guy's pretty cool. Give him a couple bucks. Look how chill people are. Look how relaxed. Uh, Moscow is a pressure cooker. Everyone's go, 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 especially now since this event is underway. Uh, there's much of uncertainty, much of bad mood, much of depression. Here, people just chilling. Russian families, Uzbek families. There is a little park with rides. In Russia, we call it Luna Park. Uh, I wonder if you can hear me okay. Looks like Mike is on. Perhaps I should stream once in a while from different locations while I'm here in Tashkent. Uh, weekends are good because you don't have to work and this is the morning. But on the other side, many of you are going to churches and probably cannot watch. But you can, you can catch it later, okay? This is called Air Race. Okay, we have kitty rides here. Look 
that is a little this is a kitty ride that right there is a that's not a scary ride it's just a small for kids probably a tiny roller coaster and then the more kitty rides are there It's getting darker. If you are just joining or recently joined this live stream, my name is Constantine and I've decided to stream spontaneously. I am in Tashkent, Uzbekistan. This is a cold April day in Uzbekistan and uh, I decided to take you along for a walk. I usually walk for about a couple hours every night. Uh, a little later when it gets dark because I have to work. Now I decided to move my walk up a little bit. So I could take you and show you around while it's still not too dark and there's still light. Uh, comments are off. I don't want to converse. My mods are all... Uh, out and about doing other things. This is a spontaneous stream. I don't really want to talk anything political. I know there would be a lot of people asking questions and things like that. This is just just a relaxing walk, walking tour. Um, no questions, no conversing, you know. Um, just, just taking you, showing you around where I am. I live right next door from this park and I'm gonna take you in a few minutes to another park across the street. So. There will be a regular stream at my midnight, yours, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, where I discuss recent, recent threats, um, recent, recent the, the biggest threat is YouTube today, or, yeah, today, blocked Russian Senate channel, official channel, and Russian politicians are irate. Uh, Maria Zakharova, the spokesperson for the Russian government, came out and said that uh, YouTube just committed suicide, you know, and she advised everyone to up, like download all the content that they have on YouTube and, um, you know, just giving, giving messages, hint, like hidden messages that YouTube is not going to last long in Russia. So this just gets better and better, okay? But well, I'm going to discuss that in more details at midnight. But not right now. I just don't want any political news, nothing. This is therapeutic time for me. And uh, I hope for you too. Just enjoy Tashkent, Uzbekistan. This is the center of the city. I'm not sure what this park is called. Um, Volgogradsky used to be in the USSR. There's a Tashkent Medical Institute, Medical University uh, right next door. My friend is a medical doctor, surgeon. He told me the stories about this park. In the USSR, they used to skip lectures and they would run here. They used to sell beer, one of the beer kiosks, and all the students would come here, the medical students, and they would drink tons of beer, like almost every day. Okay, but uh, there's plenty of beer everywhere these days, and uh, it's a little different from the USSR. So this is Tashkent again. This is not Russia. I am physically in Tashkent, and while I'm here, this place is so different from Russia, and I am, I want to show you these different places, you know. I enjoy walking and being here myself, um, like, you know, I, I like different places, and this one of my favorites, and might as well take you for a walk. So this is like a main alley. To the left, some kind of tunnel made out of lights. Very clean, very safe. Quite a few Russians, quite a few Uzbek. A majority of population in Uzbekistan obviously is Uzbek, Uzbek people. Uh, many of them speak Russian, some, quite a few actually don't speak Russian. I've never run into a problem of not being understood. 
everything is pretty cool. Um, definitely no hard feelings towards Russians here. They're very friendly. Uh, one culture, I feel like we're one, one people with them. Just like I felt with the Ukrainians pretty much always before the start of this event. Nice ice cream. Здрасте. Можно тут сфотографирую? Не, вы стойте, стойте. Wind stars, that's what it says right there. Wind stars. This is so therapeutic for me to be here. Uh, in Russia, things have changed. In Russia, Russia is, and especially Moscow, is a pressure cooker. Everyone speaks about this event all the time. You cannot avoid this topic, and people try to pick on you if you disagree with their opinion. They're very aggressive. Uh, everyone's feisty, you know. There's so much pressure, you can cut air with knife, in Russia, we say. Here, it's totally different. I'm just. I'm shutting off my brain, I'm not thinking about anything, I'm just walking around, warm, it's warm, you know. Natasha sent me a picture of Moscow, still snow, Michael is all dressed up in his winter gear and stuff like that, you know. And here is absolutely warm. If you have recently joined, uh, this is Constantine inside Russia, but I'm really inside of Uzbekistan. Pakistan now and taking you for a little walking tour of one of our city's parks. Concessions here. Burger team. You know what? I'd like to get a coffee here. That's what I want. Coffee time. Perfect. This is pretty cool. I can uh, put this thing on a stand and just walk around a little bit. Can you still hear me? I'm gonna get a coffee. Oh, such a nice playground right around the corner. Oops. Look at this thing right here. Reminds me of Moscow. It's just in Moscow, there are so many more playgrounds like this. Basically, like, uh, every place around the corner has a playground like this, a brand new apartment block or... Here in Tashkent, not too many. Just a 
View in the parks. There are like five or six parks of this size here. The, the city of three million people and there are playgrounds, you know, like very nice, clean, modern. And you see people from all over, they come here, bring their kids to play. Кофе хороший тут? А? Кофе хороший? Не знаю. Не да, нормальное. Ага. Вкусно очень, вафли. Братик, кофе сделаешь? Здравствуйте. Кофе, кофе. Кофе американо, капучино какой? Капучино. С сахаром без? Без сахара, с корицей. Большой. Сколько стоит? 18 тысяч. Рублей или долларов? Сон. The coffee is 18,000 sum. Okay. I asked them if it's uh, 18,000. They usually don't say sum here. They say 18,000. And always ask them $18,000. And you know what? They get so uh, like, uh, ah? And then they start thinking like $18,000. No, 18,000 18, sum, you know? I know, I know. <laughs> it's just, it's a joke I play on them all the time. Cappuccino. If I was in Italy and I ordered cappuccino at dusk, people wouldn't understand me because they drink cappuccino in the morning. But hey, you know what? This is not Italy. This is Uzbekistan. It's okay. <laughs> so if you're watching, if you're watching me from Italy, don't don't get upset. And there's a pickup going on. I think this guy is trying to meet these girls right there. Small talk, you know. Mark Cardwell just uh, sent me 10 bucks on Patreon. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. Um, super chats are off here. No problem. You know, um, no comments. I turn on comments for actually conversing with you, for getting you feedback, not for the super chats. Super chats are okay, much, not, not more okay, okay? They're appreciated, they're welcomed, and they need it, these trying times, but not, not the goal number one in my live streams, you know? Uh, thanks for throwing me 10 bucks. Um, I don't know, if any, any one of you wants to buy me coffee, just <laughs> go to Patreon. Send me a couple bucks, but not not necessary, you know, no, not 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 necessary whatsoever. Что? Корицу перемешать? Братик, сделай хорошо, чтобы вкусно было. Again, thank you, Mark. I just got another message. This time, держи. It's 50,000. Не, вот это не надо. Не надо? Да, как вот... Открой мне, чтобы я сразу пить мог. Нет, нет, нет. Вот да, вот эту штуку. Bob S. My wonderful mod sent me a message that great video and no buffering yet. You know what? I don't understand, Bob. I really truly don't understand what the heck is going on because I am walking in a park, there are so many people on a mobile network here, there's no Wi-Fi and it, it's not buffering. Uh, 
Look at the new. Whoa, 20, 32,000, 32,000 change. Nice. Спасибо большое. You are welcome. I like, I like your shirt, hoodie, the North Face. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's very Uzbek, you know. До свидания. Ну, если честно, так себе. Ну, не страшно. Да. Посмотрите, достаньте телефон. Даже два. I'm gonna gain two new subscribers. Забивайте в поиск Inside Russia. На английском, да? Да, на английском. Inside Russia. Mm -hmm. Inside. I N. Да, inside. R. Теперь Russia. У меня нормальный. Стримлю и хорошо. Да, вот, вот. Подписывайтесь, да. А сейчас будет вот внизу в эфире. Вот сюда щелкните. Ну, конечно. Вот. И себя будете смотреть. Все, все подписалось. Спасибо. Ой, боже мой. О, лайв, лайв. Сейчас блафин. Все, счастливо. This was so cool. This is my coffee, by the way, and it's so inconvenient to drink it because they have this very weird system. They give you a straw. You stick the straw in, in, in and link through the straw, but if you don't have a straw, it's, you know, that, this thing just doesn't stay put. Okay, um, I initially thought of li uh, uh, streaming for about hour and a half, something like that. Um, The girls messed up the stream. <laughs> no, that's a buddy of mine. His team is, his name is. And then probably more people in the park. Worse signal. Now, you see, my friends, this isn't Tashkent that I knew. This is a different city. Tashkent that I knew when I, I lived here for two years was extremely... extremely lost good signal, and now it's 3G instead of 4G. Let's see if I uh, catch better signal. This, by the way, is supposed to be awesome. 
This is a Moscow chain of burgers, uh, diners. I don't know, this is a Black Star burger. If it's the Russian one, that's gonna be really, really good. I tried it in Moscow, it's fantastic. Let's take a closer look. I'll show you what the burgers look like. Здрасте. А можно туда чуть-чуть? Да, That's a friendly camper. Okay. No filming. Look at this, pink vanilla. <laughs> Sounds so Uzbek. <laughs> this ice cream seems absolutely fantastic looking. The Eiffel Tower is very, very cool looking. Let me take a little closer look at this roller coaster and I gotta tell you something about it. This is a little artificial lake, but it's emptied out because it's not summer yet. I think in a couple of weeks they're gonna fill it up with water. My friends, uh, I don't know if any one of you watching in Maine right now but I worked and lived in Maine, northeastern state of the USA. And I worked uh, at a little town called Old Orchard Beach. And one of my hotels that I managed was right in front of this, absolutely this identical roller coaster. Unbelievable. I wonder if they disassembled this roller coaster in Maine and shipped it to Tashkent, Uzbekistan. Same color, you know, same setup, same, same sounds, everything. This sound right here used to drive me crazy first couple years. And then I got used to it. The only sounds uh, that, that, that really noticed after a couple years were people screaming, that's it. See, the car is going up right now. Good old, old Orchard Beach, Maine. Now they have the last, last drop. That's it. Right there.
gosh, this thing brought back memories. Now, look at that ride. That's like a big shot in Las Vegas on top of the stratosphere. It's kind of the same thing. It's also identical. I can't believe it. Uh, most of you must have been to Las Vegas, okay? The stratosphere, this tower sticking up like a needle. Uh, and there is this right, this right, exact same thing on top of that needle. I did that the first time in March of 1997. And let me tell you, it was scary. One of the scariest rides I have ever been on. So this little island, artificial island, is actually a restaurant right there. What I could do is I'm gonna, I, I could go to another park right now and uh, I'm getting done with this park. Oh look, swan and ducks. He's kind of looking at me like, what's going on there? They're actually all over, they're sleeping. <laughs> so I am going to that actually drop in Las Vegas is much more intense, much more aggressive. They just put you up and no, they, they shoot you up and drop you down, and this is peanuts. Now it's much more quiet. We're away from the action. We're away at this is like the very the end of the park, you know. People just sit on benches and walk around here. I like this park very much. It's pretty, pretty cool place. You know, I came from, you know, this, the grand entrance is at the other side. And we walked with you all, all the way through the park. And uh, it has two zones. One zone is action. And this zone is like more relaxation. The restaurant looks fantastic, actually. Not too many people. There is very, very little of water. As far as I understand, they fill it up soon and uh, the water will be up to right here. So I'm leaving this park and I'm gonna show you what Tashkent looks outside of the park. There's a busy road, I gotta cross it, and there's another park right about there, across, across the road. And uh, I wanna go there too. Different kind of park, there are no rides, but it's very popular among Russians who have come from, um, from, from Russia and among hipsters younger people in Tashkent. This is a little river slash canal that there are tons, hundreds are running through the city like this. Uzbekistan is about two things. First is sun and heat. It's incredibly hot. It gets to 120, 130 degrees. And it's extremely dry. But it's surrounded by huge mountains. Um, the Tian Shan mountains that turn into Himalayans. And uh, there's plenty of water coming from the mountains. There are two big rivers, Serdarya and Murdarya. And so Uzbekistan has plenty of water, plenty of sunshine, plenty of heat and plenty of water. So it's, it enjoys a huge agricultural 
benefits. Uh, everything grows here. It's pretty, pretty fantastic country. Uh, anywhere you go, there is water. Little canals, they called Arik, Ariks. This is where people come and park. I'm surprised to see that not every car here is white. There are actually a few black cars. I don't understand how people who buy black cars survive in the summertime. Perhaps they hibernate. Because uh, imagine 120 direct sunlight, black car. It, these things don't mix well. I don't understand. In case you recently joined or you're joining now, my name is Konstantin and I am doing a little walking tour of Tashkent, Uzbekistan. No comments, no conversations, you know, no feedback. I just decided to take you out to a place nearby where I live and take you along a little walk before my, you know, mainstream at midnight. It's scheduled. I'm going to talk about press and issues. Nothing like that right now. It's just unwinding for myself, a little therapeutic for myself and, you know, just decided to show you how wonderful, beautiful this city that I am in right now, Tashkent share this beauty, you know. I know that some of my mods are watching. Lorna just emailed me. Hi, Lorna. Uh, she, she emailed me that uh, she's watched the whole thing so far. But actually, it makes me feel good knowing that the mods are just sitting, kicking back, taking a coffee or tea, and just watching instead of you know watching the live stream chat uh, watching for the trolls and things like that uh, they just watching and enjoying the walk the walk around along with me you know now uh, how do I get to where I want to go I basically want to go over there See, you can see the, the other park right there. There's a cop, a couple cops. And I'm gonna jaywalk, of course, in front of the cops. Busy street right, right here. But jaywalking is not forbidden here in Tashkent. Actually, everyone does it. You are expected to do that if, uh, if you are, uh, you know, what the heck? Uh, probably not a good idea for to go there. No, I can't jaywalk here. It's crazy. This is like a highway. Or it's not even a sidewalk. Cars are flying by. I, I gotta get to that bridge right there, overpass, and uh, I just waved the cops. Uh, they didn't understand the humor. That's okay. Chestnuts. And it's just to go, uh, I keep on forgetting, is it blooming or blossoming? I think blooming, right? In the spring, everything blooms. Another chestnut, yep. So when I, I got to Tashkent a couple of weeks ago, all trees were bare. There weren't any leaves or anything like that. Oh. And it was not cold, but it was probably in the 40s and the 50s. You see, the entire city of Tashkent and pretty much all cities and towns and villages in, in Uzbekistan are crisscrossed by these little things with water. It's called Arik, like tiny canal. And water is supplied to everywhere. A little dark here, I apologize. Well, this is real Tashkent. This isn't park, okay? This is what, uh, what the city is all about. Uh, there's a couple 
two kids and I think they're gonna uh, scare them off a little bit. They were just about to make out. Okay, I gotta eject myself fast. ORF Medical Center, okay. Probably should stop by here and have my blood drawn and see how, you know, how my blood is. Just to, just to uh, know what's going on. There's another huge park. It's like a tiny Disneyland. See that huge Ferris wheel right there? That's actually where I live, right next to the park. Uh, there's another couple. Whoa, this place is popular. Dark. Nice. I don't want to be in the way of people doing the things, you know. Okay. More light. So anyway, that's another park, huge park, very modern, just newly built. It's like Disneyland, small Disneyland, with tons of modern rides and things like that. And this is major, one of the major avenues here in Tashkent. Uh, they're supposed to yield me because I'm a pedestrian, but in Russia, pedestrians are the kings of the road, roads, and in Tashkent, the drivers and the cars. Ooh. So if you recently joined, this is Konstantin inside Russia, and I'm inside Uzbekistan. I decided to take you on a little walking tour, show you around the place where I've been for a couple weeks now, and yeah, nothing to talk about, no comments, nothing political, just, just uh, you know, therapeutic walk, pretty much. And I hope you are enjoying what you're seeing. This is the city of Tashkent, one of the places that I like very much. I spent two years of my life, 10 years ago, and uh, Tashkent has changed a lot to the better. And it just look how the city has blossomed. This used to be one old dusty city 10 years ago, okay? With somewhat very vibrant culture, with like vibrant people, but still it was like outdated. And now it's been renovated. Like this vertical, vertical gardens, you know. Basically, we are walking right over there. There's another park. Traffic is extremely light to compare with Moscow. They're supposed to stop. I hope they will. Okay, they did. And there is another canal slash river. Even with a little embankment. It's actually, a, actually real embankment right there. Hasn't been maintained much, but... Wow, look. You used to be able to walk here. Four hundred twenty people watching right now. Thank you for joining. I hope you are enjoying walking Tashkent, Uzbekistan, along with me. I have not done a walking tour of any place in quite a while, believe it or not. But my live streams used to be all about walking and enjoying, and taking the viewers along with me to show the places that I like very much and. Uh, 
That's it. There was nothing political. Everything changed on February 24th. Life has changed. My life has changed. The life of my country has cha was changed. You know, and uh, my message completely changed. And you know what? I'm happy about, well, I'm not happy about the event, but I'm happy about changing my message because I got to do something. I keep on standing up every single day and keep on doing something. I'm glad I'm not doing walking tours exclusively anymore because now something else needed much more than just walking, you know, whew, hot. It's uh, dark and it's not that hot anymore, but still it's like 74 degrees. And in the summertime, it was, uh, in, in the daylight, I went to Chorsu Bazaar again and it was 90. So anyway, thanks for joining. I'm not finishing, I'm about halfway. So please enjoy, uh, this is another park. If I walk this way, about 20, 25 minutes, I will hit the very center of the city. It's actually a nice walk, I've done that. I pretty much do uh, every, single, every single evening. Um, there's a main square, there's Inde Independence Square, there's uh, Amir Timur Square, you know. This guy stands here every single day, selling his balloons. I want to get close. Nice. And this is the entrance to the park that is called Eco Park. It is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, it, it's in English. Tashkent Center Eco, Central Eco Park, you can read. Named in honor of Zahiridin Muhammad Bobur. I think that's a, a poet. Uzbek poet that Uzbeks are very proud of. Shall we? I think we shall. There are more people. Uh, there's Wi-Fi here. Also, there's a little map of this park. The park is tiny. It's more like an alley, okay? But it's pretty cool. I really like the way the lawns are manicured here. You can see the level of attention to details. Cypress trees, all kinds of bushes, and another great place just to kind of chill. Tons of younger people, fewer families, uh, very few little kids, but young, like uh, teenagers, young adults, students. I guess that's a favorite place to meet up. Everyone looks at me when they hear me speak in English, kind of in, in, in a very, uh, in a little amazement, you know, like, what? I guess they're not used to foreigners here. Just like I said. I think this is supposed to be a fountain, but again, this is um, this is um, no, not 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 up and running because it's not summer yet. It's only 90 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, it's not too hot enough for fountains in Uzbekistan. So this is the alley, and it goes right all the way to that uh, billboard. There's a little, well, a large cafe called La Cantina or La Cantine. I think it's La Cantina in Spanish, but it's somehow in Uzbek, it's uh, La Cantine. Okay. Perhaps it's a, it's a hybrid between uh, Spanish and French. Okay. 
and look, people are totally chilling. There's a little playground, tiny for little kitties over there. And boy, are they having fun or what? And people here are completely chilling outside and inside. If I were to sit down, I definitely would be outside because it's a perfect day to be outside. Most wearing t-shirts, but some was big, hardcore. They were in sweaters, hoodies. Well, I think at 75 is cold, you know. This is the lake, and it's actually, it's a real lake. It's, you know, full of water. <laughs> it's not like the lake I just came from. It's beautiful. Ah, everything has flowers. Everything is blooming. So, and imagine, imagine what smells, all these flowers exhuming. It's funny, but I was here early and look, this is a pedestrian walkway and this is for the bikes, bike rollerblades and so forth. And there are signs actually, but I saw a couple kids, well, teenagers came here with to rollerblade and they were kicked out, not allowed because uh, the guards came and said, you cannot do that. There are too many people around. So they actually have designated uh, paths for bikes and, and rollerblades, but people are not allowed to rollerblade. Again, presenting you La Cantine. Or per perhaps it's Armenian. Look at this, there is a gondola. There's a little tiny pier. It's actually pretty cool, cool looking. I don't like this place as much as the previous one. And by the way, that, that park we just came from is right across the street from this one. But this one is much smaller and it's much noisier. The other one is larger and no music. Now tell me, why in the world these people would have music blasting, some kind of hip hop, okay? Why, oh, why? I don't understand. Just play nice relaxing music. What the hell are you doing? Sweet magic. This is cotton candy and popcorn. Bring 
believe it or not, but someone is exercising over there. Holy cow. No one really cares about COVID here. Although I heard people coughing quite a bit. In Russia, COVID's officially been canceled. There's no COVID. There are cases, but no one talks about them anymore. And everyone was like, don't worry about it. No vaccine, no, you know, no masks, no social distancing. That's it. It's all gone. It's all in the past, you know. In Uzbekistan, there are formally, they require masks, but I've yet to see anyone uh, requiring, like telling, oh, please wear a mask in the store or a place like that. So uh, everyone seems happy. There is no health crisis here. Uh, there was a couple of years ago, like anywhere else, everywhere else, but not anymore. Look at that. I wonder what tree that is. My gosh. This, this kid's playing badminton. Wow, just wow. This is absolutely beautiful. My gosh. There are like real flowers. See if I can get my up close. Yeah, I can. Look. Whoa. Does any one of you know what this thing is? Вы знаете название? Ага. Нет, нет, не знаю. People followed me to uh, check check this tree out. Wow. It's absolutely fantastic. Just a couple days I was here, I didn't see this tree. It was not blossoming. Is it blooming or blossoming? It's driving me nuts. Please email me how to say it right. Blooming or blossoming? And there's another tree, right? Just like this one over here. A smaller one. But, and there's another one. Wow, so beautiful. Caroline Silver, Silver Bell or White Angel Trumpet. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. I can't believe you know these things. Caroline Silver, Silver Bell. Tashkent Silver Bell. Tashkent Trumpet. Ah, oh, smells so good. My gosh. Ah, oh, I wish YouTube stream could like pass smells onto you. Ah. Oh. Ping pong, beach volley. And there's an inside sports center. I think they're playing squash there. If you recently joined this live stream, my name is Konstantin and I'm streaming from the very heart of Tashkent, Uzbekistan. This isn't my usual stream where I talk about press and issues, about what concerns me in Russia. This is just a walking tour that I've decided to take you along to unwind a little bit, to relax. My uh, like regular stream comes, on, comes at regular time midnight, which is 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please tune in. I will be discussing issues like YouTube is getting it, definitely getting blocked in Russia, and I'll tell you why. Uh, stinky substance starts hitting the fan about YouTube. 
um, it's been like the talk of the town, a talk of the day, talk of the like the country today. And uh, anyway, please come for another stream that's kind of taking a few hours. And this is just, I'm taking you along with me to show you how beautiful, how much I enjoy Tashkent at night. By the way, I am going to leave the comments on after the stream. Um, since, since uh, you know, there is no chat, live chat here. Uh, you know, I hope that there won't be many trolls. I hope that people won't be leaving nasty messages. Um, this is just, this is not political, you know. This is just uh, walking around life a little bit, so. Uh, let me know in the comments after I shut off the stream what do you think if you enjoyed walking around me uh, walking walking along with me if uh, you know if I should do that more often while I am here in Tashkent I am enjoying this very much. It's authentic, authentically, anyway, visually pleasing. Heidi Wolf just sent me a message. Thank you, Heidi. I'm gonna drop you a line after I am done with this stream. There will be another stream, the usual format, inside of my apartment in Tashkent at midnight in a few hours. I think it's in three hours, I'm not sure. A lot of people are Muslim here, as you see, and a lot of people are not. I love Tashkent. Boston, that t-shirt, the guy's back says Boston classic, whatever that is. The pen shot. Not too many kids that can walk and play in the playgrounds and be in the rides, but lots of uh, toddlers that parents are just walking or, you know, in the strollers and teenagers. All the kids from like three to probably 13, 14 are in the first park. The water is crystal clear. You can see the bottom. Just got a political question in my email from a fellow named Isa. Uh, I'm not going to answer anything right now. I'm gonna answer you privately once I'm done streaming. Ladies are taking selfies and this place is good for taking selfies, let me tell you. This is pretty cool.
love how trees are lit by green lights. The trees are green anyway, and then uh, they are even more green with these lights. A little, I don't even know how to call this place, it's not a food court, a few cafes. Probably should sit down and have something. By the way, this is a day number seven, eight, perhaps, that I've gone without meat. Uh, I eat cottage cheese, oatmeal a couple times a day, cucumbers, tomatoes, Horse reddish, but no meat. Bom Bom. That's a very nice and authentic name for a cafe. Bom Bom. This popcorn oozing chemicals. Energy drinks, Jaguar, all non alcoholic, okay? Flash, 18 plus, Pepsi. Borjomi is mineral water, natural mineral water from um, Georgia, the country. Red Bull, 7-Up, Sprite, Coke, Pepsi, Fanta, Adren Adrenaline Rush, Rich, Pringles, of course, anywhere you go. Pringles, anywhere. Pringles and Lay's. Do you speak English? Yes, yes. Hello. hello. What's your name? My name is Vic. My name is Vic. Vic. How are you? I am excellent. Thank you where so you much. From, bro? My name is Constantine. Guess where I am from? Okay. Can you take a wild guess? What? Can you take a guess where I'm from? I am from Uzbekistan. Me. Can you take a guess where I'm from? Kingston. No. Can you take a guess? Can you guess? Yes, ah. yes, yes, where I'm from. What do you think where I'm from? Uh, Great Britain. Uh, Great Britain. Great Britain, no, no, no. no. From America? Civilian? What? Is Moscow a drug? Is Moscow? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm from Moscow. I know, I know. You know now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I like your place, it's pretty cool. You sell the ref refreshments. I am streaming live. I have 500 people right now watching us. You see? Yeah. So you are a star. <laughs> Hello from Uzbekistan. Excellent. Thank you. Lipton iced tea, of course. Fuse iced tea, bubble gum, M&M's. And of course... He's security. He's security. He's shy. He's, he's very shy. Yeah. <laughs> so anywhere you go, this is the most, most authentic, most indigenous dish here in Uzbekistan. Uzbek lace. Soft cheese, cheese, sour, on, uh, sour cream and onion, sour cream and greens, uh, shish kebab. And that's pretty much it. Green onion, white mushrooms, king mushrooms, all kinds of stuff. Goodies, goodies. And this is the point, Tochka. 
uh, hot dogs and coffee. No, 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 no. Yeah, there is a coffee, right? It looks like a coffee machine. Yeah, it is. Right there. I'm actually getting hungry, believe it or not. Uh, I've been doing really, really good without meat. Let me let me tell you a little story of me going meatless for a few days. Um, I'm planning on staying without meat at least for 10 days, perhaps a couple of weeks, and then I'll see. I've done that before here in Uzbekistan. I started just like this. I went 10 days uh, due to doctor's, doctor's recommendation without meat, without fats, all kinds of fats, just fruits and vegetables. And I said, well, another week, so 17 days, then another week. Then I ended up going meatless for nine months. And boy, did I feel good. I lost tons of weight, like 30 pounds. I was jogging, running, I was exercising. I felt, I felt younger, like 10 years younger. It was 10 years ago. <coughs> now I'm trying to pull the same trick here. I'm back to Uzbekistan and I'm back to meatless. But probably not gonna stay for <coughs> that long. <coughs> Dry throat, speaking too much, you know. Uh, but so far so good. First three, four days, it's really bad because you, you just wanna eat meat so much. It's like you craving meat, it's like a drug, you know. They put you off drug and then you just, ah, oh, I wanna go back. It's um, addiction. <coughs> but then day four, you know, and on, it's actually pretty good. I am hungry, getting hungry right now, seeing all the people eating, but I am, um, but I, I, I don't crave meat, okay? I would have a salad or something like that. But it seems like all they have here is hot dogs, coffee. I stay away from sugar as well, so there's no ice cream for me. Totally like indifferent to ice cream now. Magical cream, ice cream. Me, me, something. Oh, would like a tea, hot tea right now. Oh, there you go. Hello. How are you? Nice. Excellent. Excellent. What do you have here? Coffee, tea? Everything. Okay. Great. It's friendly. Nice. Pink vanilla closed. This is some kind of a some kind of meat place. A little grill. Wow, I actually haven't seen grill like this in a long time. In Russia I have different grills. This is so so much like in America. Unbelievable. They have Instagram, Telegram. Tempura, holy cow. Noodles, they have in English, right? People are enjoying themselves. This is the road that I crossed about 25 minutes earlier, right here. And the park. The other park is right over there, across this, across this road.
walking is absolutely great first of all i enjoyed i have enjoyed like walking itself it's very comforting it's very relaxing unwinding so to speak then walking as a physical exercise is great i have, must have walked 5000 steps at least okay perhaps even more uh, and i'm gonna walk home another like three two to three thousand steps i live uh, in that direction about i would say 12 13 minute walk Oh, this is fantastic. Look at this. Look at this tree. I love how they lit it up with uh, light bulbs. It looks very organic. These lights are not foreign to the trees, you know. It's really, really good. Okay, I know what, where we are. We are on the other side of this lake. We were um, walking, I was walking on that side. You see that fantastic looking tree that Robert was emailing me. Uh, you know, the Tashkent Uzbek trumpet tree is right there. And uh, this is so peaceful and quiet. One thing I wish that Natasha, the girls, and Michael were here with me right now, enjoying the walk, enjoying just, you know, Michael would be running around, you know, and uh, just going up and down on his scooter, and I would love that. I miss them a lot. Love seeing couples. There's so many good vibes in this place, you know. La Cantine. This is what I'm going to be doing soon, jogging. As soon as my doctor okays me to do exercises, I'm gonna get back into action. And you know, I'm gonna see me fat ever again. Never again. Do you hear me? Never again I will be fat. I can exercise now. Woohoo! For the past 10 years, I couldn't do that due to some eye problems, okay? Hot. <laughs> I'm so glad to be into summer, away from winter again in Moscow. This is Tashkent, 74, 75 degrees, very comfortable weather. Uh, Moscow, it's, it snowed a couple of days ago and now snow is melting, but it's still very cold, snow on the ground. Michael, Bob is very quick to email me about buffering. Thank you, Bob. I am seeing, was it Robert? I'm not sure. Well, Robert and Bob, uh, two different people, but same name. Anyway, um, I am seeing it. I'm seeing it, and I'm thinking perhaps I should switch from streaming in. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch to streaming, streaming in native YouTube app instead of using uh, instead of using this. Uh, a Prism Live studio that I've been using. Uh, perhaps there will be less buffering because, you know, I'm seeing much, much better results here. A lot of people ask me about if um, Uzbekistan is a very radical 
Muslim society. As you see, it's not uh, women here wear shirts, shorts, shorts. You know, uh, you can see their legs. How do you call it? Shorts, right? And no one really cares. It's uh, people here are Muslim, but they're not radical at all. They're nice. Um, they're Sunnis. Uh, unlike Iranians, Shia Muslims, very aggressive. You know, the Uzbeks are very, very welcoming people. Very nice people. You know. Okay, I gotta go and have something to eat, a bite to eat. And the last thing I'm gonna do is exit this park. Again, look, I like the landscaping so much. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna walk outside, get myself a cup. My friends, this is not fun anymore because I keep on buffering, I keep on losing signal, and uh, you know, that's that's it. This is, I don't know, the signal quality has gone down drastically. So basically, one minute I'm gonna walk up, get myself a coffee, and I'm gonna walk all the way back, about 15 minutes, to the apartment. Notice how the guys hear me speak English and they're just like, wow, they freak out. <laughs> uh, they're very nice about it, they're just so... ...so unusual. But anyway, I'm going to... I'm going to walk back, perhaps grab a bite to eat, perhaps uh, cucumbers and potatoes, or tomatoes, and that's about it. And I'm gonna go live my main live stream. This is a... This is, I was gonna say it's a residential area, but I guess not. Not, it's either a hospital or or some kind of a government building. Брат, а что это такое? Что? Что это? Больница? Травматология. А, травматология. Okay. This is a trauma hospital, the emergency. You know, if people get in trouble, break their legs or whatever, you know, get hurt, this is where they come to. And this is a hospital right there. Those windows are actually words. Uh, uh, with sick people inside, you, you can see that. The park, okay. This is a regular street, and there are apartment blocks right behind this, this, um, whatchamacallum, this hospital. So this is how real Uzbek people live, okay. I'm showing you their real life through my camera. Okay, camera never lies, and this is what Tashkent is about. Once you get outside of Tashkent, of course, the picture is not as pretty in terms of roads, pavements, infrastructure, but it gets prettier in terms of nature, mountains, uh, you know, uh, uh, rivers, canals, you know, things like that. It's incredible. Now, this coffee is really good. This is where I brought you to. Coffee.ist. German or something. Take away. This kid, I don't know him. He's a new. And I tried coffee across the street. Cafelito. Not good. And this is actually a bus stop with a couple small pubs and pops stores. Convenience store. Assalamu alaikum. Do you speak English? No? Can I can I can I film a little bit? No, can I take a picture? <laughs> this is a little convenience store for locals for Uzbek. You can get, you know, again, chips, potato chips, milk, condensed milk, yogurts. Uh, sausages, hot dogs. Candies. Bread, baked, baked goodies. 
deodorants, you know, shampoos, toilet papers, plenty of toilet paper. There's local TV right there. Sunflower seeds. And this is just a bus stop. Dusty. People waiting for the bus. Although it's not the park anymore, the trees are lit up. And it looks really, really, really good, my friends. 24-7, coffee, the territory of coffee. Knock, knock, please open the door, the window. Hello, do you speak English? No. А русский говоришь? Брат, сделай кофе одно. Какое? Капучино. Капучино? Сахар сколько? Сахар не надо, а, корица. Скорить. Now you're gonna see me. Uh, I'm a little, not that I'm really tired of walking, you know, but I'm more like tired of holding a gimbal and telephone in my hand. So I tried coffee at this place and it's, it's really, really, really good. I liked it. I'm gonna get the coffee, the guy's gonna make it for me, I'm gonna pay and that's it, I'm gonna finish up the stream. By the way, fantastic, you guys are awesome in your rock. It's been fantastic to have you and it's been great, although I did not receive any comments from you, any messages. And that's a bummer really, because I love reading messages, I love getting reaction of people live you know when I do something like how they react how you react to different places different events different people I this is what the street live streams are all about this is for me but unfortunately there have been so many hate mail hate comments trolls and there are some comments I may get in trouble for that I've decided to shut the comments off and um, it's still been a pleasant walk not as pleasant as if it was with the comments, but, you know, still pretty good. Thank you very much for, for joining me. Thank you for spending hour and a half your time, or perhaps less, some minutes of your time. <laughs> the heck was that? Believe it or not, that was bus. I have no clue why it made the sound. But I think everyone got kind of jumped. Anyway, um, I was I was saying that uh, thank you for spending some time of your life with me in this stream. Thank you for walking along. I hope that you like Tashkent. I hope that now you know a little more about the place where I am currently. Well, I am.